a client, you do not want your slides, everything to look the same with other. So Canva has a lot of templates. And so that's one of the reasons why I end up uh, replacing it as one of my primary use cases. I also use it for quite a fair things, uh, which I'm going to share a bit later. So let's talk about the functionality of Canva and uh, let me guide you through what is around. Okay. Oh, I need to check this for you guys because if not, you guys cannot see. Okay, so when you go to when you go to Canva, Canva, there's actually a few things about Canva. You notice that is actually uh, there's a free version of Canva, which you can actually do a lot of things with Canva. Uh, but there is also the pro version. So what you're seeing now is the pro version of Canva, and I'm going to show you some of the uh, functionalities along the way that can help you out. So if you would like to uh, write on the chat, if you guys use Canva, like what kind of uh, what kind of stuff that you guys mostly do with Canva. So I, I will assume a lot of times people will tend to do like Instagram posts, uh, logo, not so much, uh, ebook covers and so on. So one of the cool functions about Canva is basically for, for you to search. So for you to go actually look for uh, something, let's say I want to do, uh, I want to do an A4 brochure, okay? Like I want to do an A4 brochure or I want to do a blog banners or, or something like that. You can actually search it out and actually Canva with all the relevant sizes so you don't have to worry too much about it. And it's the same case with like when you're doing your social media posters. So let's say I want to do social, what is the right size for Instagram? What's the right size for Facebook? What's the right size, uh, size for Instagram story and so on? These are some of the stuff that like Canva will all already have in place. And let's say you want to look for something like uh, TikTok and you can actually use Canva to do your TikTok video, uh, your frames, all you want to do, your YouTube uh, like YouTube channel art, your YouTube icon. So everything will, Canva has all these uh, most commonly request items out there. Uh, the other cool thing about Canva is really about the, the, not only about the preset size, it's all about the templates. Uh, they have so many designers, uh, both in-house and, and external contributing towards the Canva. So you do not need to design from scratch. In fact, the slides that you see previously, that I've done is actually one of the template design. And, and I, I think a lot of times that people don't use that uh, too much uh, or they just tend to find the first few. One of the things that I will really employ you to do is like find uh, different uh, templates that you like and, and you can actually use uh, with that. Uh, the other thing that I like a lot about Canva, especially for business owner, actually I do not know whether how many of you end up using it, is this thing called Brand Kit. So anyone uh, here use Brand Kit? Uh, can I, can you guys uh, type in the chat? Okay, if Brand Kit is something really cool. So I use Brand Kit basically in terms of uh, when, let me open up the Brand Kit for you. So this is my next up Asia Brand Kit is I can set a few things. Let's say I can set these are my default logos that I want. So I can upload a uh, random logo. These are the fonts that are in terms of my corporate identity, my CI. So I don't need to go and work with my, let's say I want to assign my team member to do something and they are in my team and they need to know the CI. They don't need to go and search for this font, this font, this font, or they don't need to what. So for example, oh, I don't have my color. Canva will automatically try to this like Canva will automatically try to discover all the different colors on your uh, thing. And you can actually duplicate this in multiplying it. So it enables you to actually, uh, it enables you to actually uh, try to figure out what are the things that you do to actually add various colors and things to that. So you have a certain consistency over your brand. Uh, the other thing that is, the other thing that I really like is the fact that you get to collaborate, you get to work with various people. And, and because when you when you collaborate and you, uh, it allows you to actually get things faster. So you don't need to do like hand over a designer command, then designer change, you can change it yourself. And that is something that is something uh, really, really amazing. And, and uh, I think people don't tend to use Canva quite a fair bit. One of the other things in Canva is uh, content planner. So when you're running your social media posts, this is something I don't use that much, but you can actually use Canva to schedule and upload your, your different uh, content posting in terms of your Facebook, your Instagram. Canva will have that integration over it. Oh. And uh, it's something that 
save you a lot of time. So you don't need to like go and download from Canva and straight away, or oh, I need to post it uh, on uh, Hootsuite or something else. You can use it over that. Uh, the pro account allow you a few things, which is like the, your team. So these are the teams. You can actually have folders, uh, your various templates that you want to have in. Uh, there are many app integrations, but I that one we will talk a bit later. And Daniel, yes, let me interrupt you there. Someone is asking, uh, Tan is asking, mm. just now you were sharing on the post scheduling, right? So in Canva Pro, mm. they can do that, right? Yes. So we are you... overloaded with this question in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, because they, they want they want you to cover us, the thing. They post in Q and A first. I won't I won't see the chat. Let them post. Uh, okay, in so I'll, I'll try to go through. I'll try to go through as fast as possible. I'll, I'll just do a quick demo, lah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say twenty seven now. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, twenty eight, uh, Okay. I want to post something. I want to post this thing. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll just I'll select this. I will select what are the channels I want to integrate with. Let's say my Instagram, my Facebook page, my Facebook group. So I, I'll I'll go on my Facebook group. I connect my Facebook group that I can post this. It will automatically be posted. <laughs> Super fast. Right? Nice. Very nice. Yeah. So it saved you a lot of time, actually. Uh, I, I don't use it because uh, we were we, we are testing out another software at this point in time, uh, oh. uh, which is uh, called Social B. But uh, okay. this is something that it, it works really well, especially you're managing so many accounts. And then you got this, you can like just plan out schedule. Like, one of the things people always say like, hey, I wait got time to go and do so many designs. Like, no, you batch design it, then you schedule it, then you let it automatically post for you. Cool, correct. Daniel, yeah. somebody is asking just now on your brand kit, right? Yes. Your, your, uh, because you are going through your slide. So they're asking, how do you start how do you how do you start using this? Although you have already put your logo there. I'm okay. I actually I will be talking about that later. Later, but okay. let me just right. show a quick one. Okay. So you can just create a brand kit. So let's say I create a, a pocket talks. Okay. Okay. Let's say this is a pocket talk. So I, I need a brand logo. I don't have a brand logo. Let me just uh let's see I download now. I'll just add the I add this one now. I add the I add the image in there. So it will automatically upload the thing. Then I want to discover uh, in in some cases, uh, basically, you can actually select on top of, top of that. And then let's say I want the color, get color. These are all the colors in the logo already. I, I'll show you another example. Okay. And yeah, blanket is for pro only, right? Yes. Wow. So that's, that's the thing we are talking about, bro. Uh, I'm let's say I upload the next one, which is the PowerPoint uh, logo. Okay. So I I I want everything to be consistent with this color. I click on this thing, get color. Everything, all the relevant color will be here. Then I can select a font. Okay. I I want my capital font to be Lit Sparta. So I want my this one to be Archivo Vec or something like that. Okay. I upload new fonts into it. Yeah. So hope that answer your question. Let's move on to the let's move on to the next one. So uh, I, so this is the downside because it takes a bit while. So before you did uh, so those are the basic functionality of Canva. And before you start designing, I uh, there's there's one thing that I always need to stress is really you need to start collecting inspiration. So uh, if you use like Pinterest or etc., you start looking at what other social media you like, and then you take inspiration from it and see uh, what can work for your brand. Because a lot of times when we are using Canva, we, we just like, like learn on like uh, simply just do because like, oh, I need to do it now or whatever. One of the things that uh, as, as uh, when you're working with designers and not, you want to like, oh, I, I see that shell commercial. I like this graphic, nice. I collect it, I store it somewhere. Oh, I see this uh, this uh, color, nice. I, I, I record it somewhere. So you have this, mood board. One of the simple thing to do, you can either upload this into uh, Canva itself, so you have a folder inspiration itself, or you can use, uh, like what we tend to use is we use uh, Pinterest just to store this kind of thing. Second thing before you start designing, uh, we you, even good designers tend to do this, you sketch it out. Like you take a pen and paper. So I know this is about digital, but it's the best thing ever. 
so sketch out the general concept what you want to do uh what you want to plan out and etc like let's say you're doing an instagram post like oh these are the things that i need uh, to, to put in you just have a rough idea just to sketch it out and and, and go on so these are the four things that we are going to talk about today social media posting uh, so i'm going to give a bit demo in terms of everything and then we will go into questions after this uh social media posting presentation graphic design and video uh this is not a extensive thing but this covers like what i tend to do and uh how i tend to use canva to uh do stuff okay so first thing first uh we're, we're, so if you see some of the instagram posts like that is like oh uh how come i saw instagram posts are why so nice one they got um, multiple things stick together and etc so how do you do this this is actually a very interesting uh this is actually a very interesting thing to do let me uh now I have to go and hike this one back again. Some of them commented in the chat that your screen sharing is blur, but your presentation, okay. But the screen sharing, what you're using Mac. This is Mac, yeah, right? This is I'm Mac. Looking at, yeah. What which one is blur? Now, like this. Oh yeah, because it's blur. I <laughs> no, I, I'm serious. Is you can you see? Your presentation on the deck, the presentation, okay, but when the screen sharing like these are blur. Uh, how blur is it? Is it like this transparent blur or is it? Wording blurish, la, pixelated, but still okay because you're not typing. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so when you're, when, you're do, when you're doing something like that, so I, I think when you, uh, sorry about that, but uh, can you guys see? If you guys cannot see, just let me know and then what? So let's say I want to create a, uh, I want to create a social media post, okay? And this is like a, this is like a, okay. In the, this is like this is an Instagram post for sale, okay? Then you notice that Instagram has a so in Canva Pro you can do this thing, which is resize, okay? So you notice this is the the Canva Pro you can actually resize and then you can copy resize everything on, on, on so on. So let's say I want to do uh, 1080, uh, and I want to change this one to. Uh, this is uh, how, much, how much is it? Huh? So 10, 1080 times by four. You see my calculation. Daniel, there's a lot of boxes blocking so you now. Oh, okay, no, no, no more. Yeah, I, I'm actually doing. I'm actually doing. Uh, thing. Thanks. Uh, oh, so they, they, uh, they, they're commenting is the internet lah. That's why it's pixelated. Yeah. Must be okay. Lah. So you, you do this in terms of a long longish mm. thing. I can resize. I can actually resize. I can actually resize it differently. Lah. Let's say I want to. Resize it like uh, four three two zero, and then I, I resize. So this is the pro. This is the pro thing of uh, uh, Canva, like Canva Pro. And then you see they will give suggestions of various social media thing to do. Uh, I would, I will say, uh, I will say the num the exact number because it's Instagram got three circle right. It's like three square right. So let me resize it properly to three two four zero. So this one, you if you do not know the size, what you do is just search online, <laughs> Instagram size, or etc. But Canva has a lot of it. So you know there's three boxes right, for the drawing thing. How do I do a three boxes? So first thing first, go to file. Okay. Actually, first thing first, don't do file. Lah. First thing first, save it. Lah. Save your title. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is an uh, Instagram uh, three post. Uh, Three in one post. Okay, I'm just gonna save it like that. Okay. Okay. So this is this are new stuff with Canva, which is actually a ruler. So Canva will and then the other thing, the other thing in that is basically Canva will also show you guides. What I mean by guides. So you know there's three, right? So you what roughly go and figure out. Okay, this is a one two, uh, one zero one box is uh okay around here. Well, you don't have to be accurate, like you just roughly know that. Then you just go to the side here. Can you see here? And you drag, go out, and then this is our this is our second square. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from here, you can actually you can from here you can actually start designing stuff mm -hmm. that stick together. Say I want to just design this. I I design this. I don't want to uh what. Mm -hmm. So you can already plan. Oh, uh, I think this one need to be here or what. So when after this, when you save this over mm -hmm. on Instagram, so you download. You download it, so I'll download it. Uh, the exact size, 
just follow accordingly. Okay, the downside about it, Canva don't have a tool for you to cut immediately. Mm. So you require an external tool. So I'll use I'll I'll use a uh, I'll use a uh, something like this called image splitter or, or so on, and I'll upload my plan image over there, mm. and like let's say I'll, I'll resize it, uh, split to oh, cool. how many rows? I want to split to uh, one row and three image. Oh. Then you see it fits back to the fits back to the original thing, right? Yes. Yeah. So you can actually cut all this. You can cut all this image. So once you split the image, then you can upload this on uh, like upload this on Instagram. So all of a sudden, now people will see like, hey, how come your Instagram uh, looks so chun one? Like the <laughs> all the three images come together and so on. So let me give you another another tip over here. Uh, let's say when you're let's say when you let's say you're planning this out, okay? You can actually uh do a few things because you can also drag from the top here mm. to bottom. Uh, well, it's not. Okay, so I want to make sure that everything I let's say I uh, let me delete all this element. Okay. Okay, and I want to I want to make sure that is a, a a thing that uh let's say it falls between this uh, falls between this uh, this is my marker. Mm. So everything I need to do is falling in this thing. So you can actually use this, put it here, and because you got the guide. So it allows you to actually figure out where where you want to uh, target it to, you know. Mm -hmm. then you can slowly adjust and so on. Uh, for most of the thing in Canva, there's there's two types of things of cropping. So you, if you double click it, you see this thing. This is for you to go and move the size of the final image. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you if you click on this, this is to move the whole size mm -hmm. together. So when you double click it, it's for you to crop so i can enlarge the image itself and i let's say i just want to i i, I want her i want to just see her lip only lah, okay so you can see mm. is that then the final thing i can just i can move around so that's that's one of the things that you can actually do uh with canva and again i can just download this image and go to uh, image printer so what you need to do is just search for image printer there are image printer that exists on your phone app android and ios uh, most of them are free, so you don't have to pay for anything. And you can just get the image and you can just upload it uh, to that. Yeah. And what I'll do again is uh, I'll go back to the content planner or, or whatever and upload it like, okay, image one here, image two here, image three here. And so day one, day two, day three, then you see like, oh, wow, the image all very, uh, got the tema, la, got theme over it. Okay. Excellent. Nice. So this is this is uh, something we do in our group. Uh, so you can see like that. There's a publish to Facebook directly, right? Okay. Uh, I I tend to try to keep all the design in one particular uh, one particular file uh, or rather one particular design. So I'll, I'll, these are all the various giveaway that we've been giving away uh, over the period uh, over the recent period. So these are the new design, and I would keep the same template. So the thing that I generally would tend to do is let's say I want to, uh, let's say Carol want to give away something now, okay? I'll, I'll duplicate the first one, okay? Then I'll, I'll look for an image to, up, I'll look for an image to upload now. Okay, uh, let's say, let's say copy, okay? Uh, and uh, the TKK, TKK copy. Mm. So the reason why I do it on the first, so this is the latest one, you always want to lay uh, oh, I didn't know there was a chance to label that. See, <laughs> now only I know. <laughs> so, meaning when you download it, okay, you always download PNG because that's the best, but it's the easiest for you to find. So, it's the first one. So, when you duplicate, the, 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 the older design will be the last, the newest design always the first. So it allows you to allow you a lot of stuff that you can actually uh, plan out stuff that is uh, easier for you to plan out. So you can actually put like dates and, and etc. And when you don't, so, so let's say when I download this, uh, like I download the TKA coffee, okay? It will, it'll be, uh, it'll be actually uh, put into that and then I, I can save my giveaway design mm -hmm. and, and etc. So I know that um, the cool thing about using design with Canva is you can do 
tiny variation. So let's say I, I want to see that. Okay, I don't like red color. Lah. Okay, I duplicate another one. Okay, I'll do this one uh, because I have a team color already. Ma. So I, I try blue color. Yeah, blue color, is blue color nicer or is it red color nicer, you know? You can actually use that to compare. Uh, you can actually do a mm. grid style, which is actually right here at the bottom. Yes. Here. Can you see the bottom here? And then you can you can compare like which design strike out more. So you can actually do like three or four design. Then you can present to your boss or your, your partner or your client or whatever. Uh, like these are three or four design for them to, to, to figure out which one works best for them. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? A lot. You have okay, any more uh, presentation to share? Not yet. <laughs> uh, we got, I, I'll, I'll go faster. Lah, okay. Uh, so now we, so that, that was social media. Now we're going to talk about uh, doing something like this. So this is, uh, this is something quite, uh, usually quite trendy. Uh, you see the, you see all of a sudden, how come my, my, there's a, there's a, there's a thing at the back and then my face is popping out the image. So I'm going to use uh, our dear Carol as a demo. Okay. So uh, this is nothing much. This is just a Carol photo. So I took the liberty of uploading a Carol photo. Okay. Uh, in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, uh, this is which which photo shoot is that? I cannot remember. This one is a Persatuan photography for the wedding group people. So they did a free photo portrait of us, mm -hmm. and they 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 trim me using a Photoshop and then send it to me. <laughs> okay, so the so let's say I want to do that same similar effect lah. Okay, first thing first, I'll Control C, Control V, which I duplicate. Okay, yes. so, so I duplicate it. Cool thing about Canva Pro is it has a thing called, uh, it has a thing called, uh, so when you click here, click on click on the image, one of the image, okay? Click on effect. This is the background remover, okay? There's a lot of different other effects mm. over here you can do, okay? Uh, let's say I want to like make Carol like this, I don't want to, not, not so nice. Uh, <laughs> I want to, I'll make her like cherry color, uh, not so nice. Uh, or, oh, can or you put me on the mobile and the screens are more cool eh? Yeah, so I, let's say I can do a smart mock-up. Uh, it takes a while. There, Carol's oh, in there. June. Yeah. So uh, I, I I use that a lot for like, uh, like showcasing apps and stuff like that. Mm. Just take a screen uh, a screenshot of the app and then I put it there so to, to do a, a mock-up basically so but I, I don't want to do that I want to okay. do the other thing now so let, first thing first I want to remove uh, Carol's background so it take a while Car uh, Canva will automatically do a fairly good job so you yes. notice uh, okay la, her hair not so, okay. not so, not so uh, you can <laughs> use this and erase a bit like just clean up oh, I, I think I did too much already undo uh, uh, so that's the downside. Uh, uh, you have to res click restore when you're doing that. I'll keep forgetting it. So let's say I go erase. I just like clean up a bit. Uh, okay. Yes. Make sure, make sure it, it's a bit nicer. Okay. Done. Click done. Okay. Then, okay. What's next? Uh, I want to, I want to do, uh, uh, I'll go to element. Okay. Uh, I want to look for something called a frame. So I want to put, Carol in a frame. Search for frame. okay. Uh, let's see what kind of frame that is nice. Uh, okay. I just now use this one. Maybe we hmm. use uh, maybe we use something like something like this. Uh, okay. So I, I, I'll put this over here. Okay. What I'll do is I'll take this original photo. Uh, sorry. I think this is a bit too small. Let me. Let me Another I think I should this one quite better. Okay, so let's say I'll, I'll put I'll put it here. I'll take this original photo. I'll drag it over. I'll drag it. Uh, sorry. I'll drag it over the frame. Okay. Why are you not? When you are not. So all of a sudden, I'll 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 I'll, I'll drag uh, Carol over the frame. So it. A frame is basically a, a mesh up. They were just used to frame us. So there's a lot of different things. So let's say I don't I don't like this. Uh, okay, honest, I don't like this. I want to put Carol in a post-it note. I want to put Carol in a post-it note. Uh, or stamp, sorry, not post-it note, stamp. Stamps. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I just drag Carol into the stamp. Okay. 
so you can use this or I, or I really don't like this la. I, I I want to make Carol uh, in a cross cross thing uh, so I'll just drag Carol into it okay then then so Carol is in, in Carol is already in this thing but let's not do that let's do the uh, proper experiment so I will I will I will do this and you can see this is the exact photo of uh, mm -hmm. Carol uh, what I'll do is I'll try to make sure this thing is at size so I'll enlarge it in the point that it's, it's easier for you to do it's easier for you to do everything in 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 size like for example uh, so you got some reference if not you can actually use some guide you can actually use some guide to do so I think I'll drag this down a bit it's just uh, you can do whatever you want over here but it's just your preference only so this is the this is the thing so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna so when I drag this over there, you notice this one will replace this thing. Or mm. How do you do this? Uh? Okay, what you do is you press control. Uh, or you press in the app Mac, you press command. Okay. okay? So you, you press, you drag and you press command. So it will not, you see, it will, it will be there, but it will not. Oh, sorry. So this one should be positioned at the forward. Move forward. to the forward. The, the, the. So you, call, you press command and you drag. Carol over here, and Carol will be right in front already. Then what you do is you switch the transparency a bit less, okay? The reason why you do is because you want to match it. So I want to try to match this thing and wrong size a bit bigger, maybe. Uh, so this is the hard part, uh, okay? This is the part that I need to try to aim for, aim ngam ngam for her. Yeah, Carol, what are you? Ah, you can use your keyboard. You can basically use your keyboard to, you can basically use your keyboard to uh, move towards, uh, it's a bit off, but I think it will work. Okay, so then I, let me show you that I increase the transparency. So you notice that there's a background, there's a background there. So Carol is all sudden in front of the background and etc. You can, of course this one I didn't do, oh, I didn't do a good enough job. Let me try to do a better job because this is not nice. Sorry, I'll be tahan with my own design. It's okay. Uh, okay, let me try with this again. This might fit better. Uh, okay, so this is roughly this is roughly there already. So you see, you see Carol at the back, mm, at the background. Nice. So what I'll do, I will remove this, remove the first image. Ta -da! Cool. So you want to like crop Carol already. Very Remember, good. Remember, this is two image. Uh, this is the earlier image. Yep. Which I remove the background, and then I put another image on the frame. So it will, it will be there. So yes. it'll be. Uh, so all of a sudden you see Carol is just like cropped. And that's the that's the interesting thing about uh, Canva because uh, a lot of times there's a lot of layers mm, you can do. And all these layers allow you to actually like, do certain stuff. Like if I want to move this forward, move this backward, allow you to play with a uh, certain thing. Let's say uh, element, I want a, 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 a animation. So uh, Canva also have animation now, by the way. Uh, I mean, lines, okay. Uh, let's say about here lah. Uh, this one nice. Goes, now we learn something. Maybe maybe this one. Okay, okay. I I want this to be uh. Let's say I want this to be a lot smaller, but I want this to be positioned back. So you see, it's like mm. there are things that you can position around. Oh, I I don't I don't like this. Uh, I I think this is sound uh, quite uh. <laughs> straightforward basic thing like so in terms of like orientation about canva you want to move the image around cross button then you want to rotate it is this thing mm. okay yeah so if you if you do your framing properly like you can do this kind of stuff and save it as an image and and so on so all of a sudden you can you can add like uh oh. and let me show you another tip i like this one a lot right okay what you can do is click on this three dot over here okay then you can see like 
oh, this is by Canva original sticker. So it will search all the similar designer things to come into, into play. So I'll, let's say uh, this one is, uh, I'll add a star. Uh, let's say I'll add star into it. Then uh, cannot see because the background is, uh, I'll change the background to something a bit more blue and, and so on. Uh, and I will do this, uh, I'll do this in the way that it's positioned towards back. So it goes behind Carol, sorry. It goes behind, go behind Carol back and, and so on. So there's actually a lot of things that you can play around. But the thing I want you to learn from here is basically understanding there's la layering. So uh, the let's say uh, like this, you see this start, yes. this starting. Yes. Okay, I want this to be behind. I saw so I position it back. I move it back. I move it back until yeah, it's very slow. Nice. Yeah. So you can you can you can see like how do you play with a uh, different layering? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, remember when you want to search, these are the uh, things that you need to take note on. So let's say I um, give me something you want to search for. Uh, give me an element. Wow. Uh, wow. What else? Yeah. Okay. So wow. Let's see. Here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I oh. like this wow. Okay. O so, w O W. Are you oh, trying to say that? Uh, okay. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Oh, Malaysia Merdeka. Merdeka. Okay. Okay, so Medeka Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So I got all this thing now. Oh, I like then. Then it's like, hey, I like this. Hey, eh. this this Ooh. is very nice. This is a pro accounting. Okay, I'm gonna put it here lah. Okay, but then you realize ah, hey, I want more images that look like this also. So the same case oh, you can go here, view more by this folder. You can click to like, you can add to a folder, mm -hmm. and then you can find. By the guy. I see. Yeah, I so this, this allow you to go and find cool. various stuff that are in similar team. So you can look for this and you want to search deeper plus Malaysia. Then you highlight all things by this guy that is in this. Yeah. Nice. So remember it's when your search is plus. Okay? okay. So you can do a few things like your plus, you can say uh, blue. Then it will find all the blue Malaysia thing or, or something like that. As, as close as possible as what they can find. Okay. All right. Let me move on to the next one, which is actually presentation. Uh, I think we, I'm going to rush this a bit. Uh, Still got the time. Second. No, I need to hide this. Yeah. I need to hide this. Correct. Uh, where is my presentation? Okay. So in... One of the things when you look at Canva, Canva has a lot of uh, a lot of very interesting uh, presentation template. Uh, again, to do uh, what you do is you go to you at home, click on presentation, and so on. So what I want, really want to show is basically uh, this. I I know you see Canva for all this. Uh, wonderful differentiation mm. out there and, and so on. They've got so many teams and you can you can use for your client pitching. Uh, this is something that I really like. This is this is very new to Canva, which is actually present and record. So it's actually a, a way for you to have your talking head and so on. So let me do a quick uh, let me do a quick demo over here. Uh, so what you do is after you do this, say you want to present and you want to do a tutorial. When I'm doing this tutorial, I can record this and, and uh, so I click on uh, record and present. Then uh, I can click on okay, this are uh, this are uh, all the all the stuff. Then I can download recording and, and so and so on. And I can also I can also like uh, add in terms of like all this stuff which are all different elements out of it. Uh, why are you not like why are you? Is it? Why are you not loading? Like download recording. Internet lah, Daniel. Maybe. Ah, uh, never mind. Give me a second. Okay. Hope you can present over here. Um, I will uh, apply everything into this. So let's say this is the same template that I end up using over there. So uh, I can click on record and present. Mm. And why are you not? 
Okay, go to recording studio. Okay. So now, okay, if you can see my setup of camera, so I can start recording and start presenting. So you go three, two, one. So my head will at the side. Oh. Uh, this is uh, for me to do tutorial. La. Okay, you need to yes. da 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 and talk 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 and then. I think this is okay, okay, uh, uh, and etc. And then I can my, I can aim <laughs> nice. my thing, and they will they will store your recording, and then you can download the uh, you can actually download you can download the recording. So I'm just gonna discard this, so you can actually use this as a way to do presentation and demo basically. So I, I so just download or you just save and exit lah basically. Okay. I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna discard this. Uh, so I I think this is a super underutilized uh, thing over in Canva. Uh, it actually, it, yeah. it actually can do so much thing uh, in terms of uh, uh, different presentation. Okay, so now let's go back to our next thing. Uh, graphic design. So one of the things one of the things that I do a lot uh, uh, back in my own company is uh, when we are because we're building MVP for. Uh, our clients sometimes we also have to propose like uh, different designs and stuff like that. Uh, of course, Canva has like their different graphic uh, for logos and etc. And a lot of it is cool. So when you see the pro one, it's the pro version. And yeah. So again, what you do is you go over here. Uh, you cannot if you cannot find it, just search for logo and like what kind of logo you want to do, and then Canva will suggest accordingly and and do and, and plan out a logo. And I will use this in terms of collaborating with people. So I will share this with my different team members and then they can start design. So I, this one, what you're seeing is basically a, a work that I was uh, teaching some students uh, to use Canva to, to experiment, to come up with design. So uh, they come up with a very bad design. Now. <laughs> then it, it allows us to, it allows us to comment a, Hey, oh cool. Okay. Yeah, like like, it's like <laughs> what what like what is this? I can I can take like uh, or then you can respond. Oh yeah, uh, this is a offline to online summit. <laughs> then you can say hey, it doesn't fit then it doesn't fit our color and etc. So that's where your that's where your brand your your brand guide come in, you know, your corporate your corporate uh guide come in and etc. And one of the things that happened like like they were playing around with it and can just like comment and, uh, and so on. Uh, I, I want to say when you are design when you're designing a logo or so on, uh, you need to do a few things. One, you need to make sure that you can see from three meters away. Uh, so you make it full screen, stand about three meters at least, or uh, five meters will be best, it'll be clear. So I'll, I'll show you what we have done. Uh, so this is the logo for Next Up Asia. Mm. It's just a very simple thing that I, I have planned. I I I, I plan out. So let me uh, let me just uh, quickly just do a, a empty empty one. So you can move this thing around. And the the element is actually the element is actually fairly fairly simple. So I was actually looking for like a cube. And then. I, I wanted because I wanted something to play around. If uh, so, I was like, oh, I'm kind of inspired by this. Let me try to look for something very similar like this stuff. So I will go at this and dig dig around. So I, I let us say for example, I, this thing is basically. Let me show you. Uh, let me ungroup this. This thing is basically. Uh, you are not two different. Two different things stick together. Oh, okay. So it's 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 not uh it's not like I I actually go and design this from scratch. You know, it's like something that something that I will take a few different things to come and add together in terms of that. Mm -hmm. So uh a, a good way a, a good way to a good way to think about a good way to think about it is uh oh by the way don't worry about doing your mistake. Okay, uh if you got any mistake. Go see version of history. <laughs> so you can actually you can actually uh do this and then you will like oh nice. I, I, I think this version is the correct one. I, I'm gonna restore to this version. And then you don't need to worry. Uh my my advice is always oh I want to do something different with this logo. Lah. So I will just do I'll duplicate it. I said 
you know what? I want a yellow logo. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I just want yellow. Uh. Then uh, I, I think this one need uh, another cube. Uh, uh, cyber. I, I, I need something else to to maybe this uh, maybe this thing. Okay. So I'll, I'll put this here. Okay. Then I will say uh, I will say I'll position this one back. Uh. Okay. And this is my new logo. Uh. <laughs> Uh, but you can you can you can play you can play around so you can you can see that the magic recommendation they will show you different recommendation of, of different stuff that you can actually add in you can actually add into it uh, uh, and yeah, that was, yeah. yeah but again don't worry don't worry about it too much that you can uh, you can just Very like slowly experiment yeah so uh, uh, I I know this is a tutorial about Canva but I want to just also mention when you're designing your logo or so on. Do a few things. Do a few size, like one size, two size. Uh, just the logo alone. Do it on a white background. Do it on a back background, and do it grayscale. So you have this all this as your brand image, uh, because when you are when you are actually uh, let's say you are participating in an event or so on, and your logo your logo appear on the uh, on the the photo board or etc. Then. If your logo don't have all this thing, uh, your the other the your event designer will come and learn on that. Simply just uh, add a logo. So I want you to just like uh, design this. So I actually save this all as my brand kit that uh, that different version of it that enables. Uh, let's say I'm speaking at an event or so on. The logo is very simple. I just upload it in the Google Drive or upload in Dropbox. People can just uh, that. Or if you trust it, you can just allow people to. Uh, view or use as template so they don't they cannot edit so you can just share to someone okay that makes all right uh let's go to the let's go to the uh, next part so this is a uh, this is actually a tip about uh graphic design and um sometimes you want to do a booklet and then you see the person in the middle lah. Okay, I want this thing to look like uh, this guy is like page one and page two. How do I achieve this? So there's two ways of doing this. Uh, first way, uh, of course, one is by the ruler again. Get the ruler. You take the guides. You just put the guides over here. And then, uh, okay, I want to make sure it's there. Uh, I want to make sure this guy is like, uh, like here. Okay. And then I, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this, okay? Then I I know this is uh, from here to here, so I also want to have another guide from here to here. Uh, so you need to, I'm just gonna roughly estimate also, so easier for you to uh, see. Then once I duplicate it, ready? I'm just gonna move this guy back to here, follow the thing. So when it, when it seems, it looks like it looks like one continuous image. So you can use the guide to actually uh, help with the plan. The other trick is just search for a square. So I will use the element. Uh, like, let me just delete this quickly. Okay. I will just use a, a, a square to do a representation. So I'll, I'll go here. I'll search for a square. Doesn't have to be anything. It just could be just a simple square. Like, as long as you can see it. So I roughly resize this to this guy, lah. Okay, uh, and I then I'll just make sure that this guy is around around here. Uh, that like you you do it in a way that you do it in a way that it fits again, now. So you just duplicate this, mm -hmm. uh, duplicate this page. Okay, again, duplicate this page, and then you just move the image to fit into this, and delete this, and it. It should match actually. Oh, that one Larry a bit, yeah. This one you need to experiment a bit, but uh, when you when it's printed out, uh, you should be able to you should be able to get it more clearer. Okay. Uh, the second thing, especially when doing printing, should uh, always click on this show bleed. So uh, when you're doing especially printing in terms of that, there's usually a, a bleed where they do uh, stapling or, or stuff like that. So these are the bleed that is actually outside. So then you can plan a bit more 
calculate in terms of the bleed and as a trunk. Uh, the the other thing the other thing to show is basically uh, the show margin. Okay, margin is basically these are the. Uh, let me hide everything else so it's clearer. I hide the guy. I hide the bleed. So this is the margin. Mm -hmm. A margin is whatever is in between, like in between the, the focal images. That is, that is, uh, that is margin. Okay, okay. Uh, this is the last part. So um, Canva, although it's for graphic design, but it's actually for any design. So you can actually use Canva to design videos and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do a simple one. Okay. And just to give you an example, and this is available for everything. Like you can do collage, you can do video message, uh, you want to do TikTok video, Facebook video, uh, whatever. Uh, then it will size it accordingly, but we just made a generic video. Okay. And of course, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, templates and themes and stuff like that. Let's use this one. Uh, I, I kind of like this one because. Uh, Frankly, I really want to travel, and unfortunately, uh, can cannot. And just to just to take note on this, uh, the there's a few things that Canva will automatically do for you. Like one is the audio, so you can actually adjust the audio over here, and you can actually uh, add uh, various or like add various stuff over on it. Uh, the other thing is there's the timeline that you can actually adjust over. It. Mm. So let's say I I really don't. Really do not like this one. Uh. I, I cannot tahan. Uh, let me let me find for uh Malaka video. Uh yeah, is this a video? No. Where is it? Why is it not? Oh, give me a second now. Uh. I need to find. It's not the Merdeka got one video, Daniel. Yeah, uh, I think let's look for the Merdeka one. Mm, yeah. The Merdeka one got one just now. Merdeka Malaysia. Uh, Merdeka Malaysia just now you type. Oh, I can just go here and just like uh, uh, find which are the pro and stuff like that. But yeah, they're here. Mm, yeah, this is, yeah, I saw that too. So you, you notice the timing will be all done accordingly to mm. here. So everything here is just an element, you know. And what Canva tends to do is basically scene one, scene two, scene three. So every scene is like a different slide and, and so on. But let's say I don't want it to be so long now. Okay, what I do is just I, I just drag it off. I just cut it down. I want this to be five seconds. I cut to five seconds. Then uh, I want another scene. Let me see. I want the fall. Uh, I, I want the same. I'll duplicate this one. I'll take the waterfall. Uh, sorry. The fellow the fellow got too excited. Oh, I use okay. So I'll just drag this over here. Yeah, why are you not? So this is a much longer five minute one. I'll actually go on five minutes. Uh, okay. uh, what I'll do is I'll just go over. Whoop. Wow, so long. Then I'll just cut off. Uh, I'll, I'll crop the image. I'll crop it down to. So then you ask, uh, hey, I got something I want to do, uh, but somewhere in the middle. So in the middle half. So you do frame one, frame two, frame two. Uh, so let's say I want to uh, give me a second. Huh? So, so you will uh, just that uh, showcase. Okay. I can also I can also adjust this. Hmm. Like, Add into like. Uh, 
So the, there's generally quite a few things you can do uh, with it. And it's a, to be honest, the Canva uh, video editor is still very new. Uh, you can actually add animation into it. Uh, let's say, for example, over here, I want some kind of uh, Uh, let's say I want to do flag. Uh. This is not a Malaysia flag. Yeah. <laughs> one other Malaysia flag. Uh, one other, let me oh, that's a one. video too, yeah. Yeah. So I. This is new. I haven't touched this element yet. Uh, video, video. Oh, Karen, kita boleh buat waving flag on yeah. our background. Betul, betul, betul. <laughs> betul. So cool, eh? like that, like that, like that. Yellow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. function, kan? Yeah. The first time we neglected the audience, oh. Yeah. <laughs> we literally don't focus on that one. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry, guys. You're fascinated yeah. with the topic as well. Let, let me just let me just give you this as an example, uh, okay? Uh, I'll just take out the. I want this ula ula thing in this uh. <laughs> So you can just add animation. You can add like uh, the other thing you can do is basically add transition of animation. So you see, animate here. I want it to tumble, or I want how I want it to uh, come in pop up. I want to come in a baseline. I want to come in. Uh, I want to brief. Like let's say. Uh, so you you can add a lot of this, or I can do a page animation, which is actually this whole entire page. So let's say uh, let's, let's do the zoom on. So we go from the we go from the start again. Okay. So this is like the normal one. Then you notice you can add different element. You can add different an animation over it, and you can also add like, like uh, sound, uh, like different audio. Uh, let's say I want to look for uh, drums. Very nice. Yeah, so I want this one. To oh, I have to warn. I have to warn. Uh, I have to tell Daniel about the music here, right? Mm -hmm. I have been using uh, Canva uh, inside, even, even though I was a Canva pro and I used the music for my YouTube because my YouTube is monetized, yeah. right? YouTube suspected that most of the music here I can't use. So what I did was I used a YouTube audio library to replace the music here. I don't even dare to use Canva music anymore. It was all being uh, uh, de uh, detected as uh, copyrighted music. Uh, yeah, so so uh, I was going to talk about that a bit because uh, there are mm. there are certain things that you can use over here and cannot use over here. I would generally su suggest you to look for Creative Common images or videos or uh, Creative Common music. So you can actually uh, find, find it and so on. So one of the resources that I wanted to share was like Pixabay. For example, mm. is for you to look for stock images and extra, and uh, those are that like, you can also look for. You can also look for uh, music. music that can be used over it. So you can just download the music and and share. Yeah. So uh, uh, let me just quickly end my end the, the presentation with a few other few other things. Okay. Uh, just a few things. So uh, when you're doing a lot of uh, design on Canva, then you end up. You, you need to learn some of the uh, shortcuts, basically. So if you if you highlight an image and you just use your uh, cursor, your, your arrow key, you can actually move things around. But you want to move them finer, you press shift and then you move around. Shift. Yeah. So so uh, let's say you, you select an image, then you want to move. You think it's, you need it to be a bit less, uh, uh, sorry, move like 10 pixels or something like that. All right. Then, like move, you you move more. Sorry, it's not move less. You move more than you press shift. Okay, uh, you want to deselect an element. You press escape. Uh, you want to like uh, move the element up and down in terms of uh, that. You press like command up and down. 
and you can select the different element over, over there. Uh, these are the, the shortcut for the text. So like for example, command uh, shift L is you align left, center, control, uh, command shift C, command shift R is for right. Uh, you can copy the style also because sometimes you just copy a text only. Ma. So this one you copy the style, which is actually like command option. Uh, this is for Mac, la, but I, I think it's like uh, control, I think it's like control alternate C, uh, control alternate uh, V and etc. Uh, so when you're doing a lot of design, this is super, super useful one. It's because it allows you to do things a lot more faster. Uh, you don't need to go and drag, cut and paste or, or what, because if you see, so I'm not too sure if you guys know this or not. Uh, last demo, very last demo. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, so let's say you want to search for an image. Uh, uh, give me a, give me an image to search. Merdeka uh, lah, yo. Yeah, again, Merdeka. Okay, uh, let's. Yo Melaka. Okay, uh, let's say this this image. Uh, I like this image. Uh, okay. I click here. Okay. Copy image. Yeah. Okay. I click here, control V. Straight away, I don't even need to upload. <laughs> I upload all the time. It will automatically upload, it will automatically upload for you. So you can Wow, this is what I did. I never know. No. <laughs> so you can save a lot of time. Don't need to download and what you can just like search, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, image, and paste. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's it in general. Uh, so if you have any, if you have any questions or whatever, I think we can go there. I think we have a lot of questions. I think maybe a lot. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Thank you. Okay. I didn't notice. So many questions to cover. So few times. Uh, Rizwan, your video is not on. Oh. Uh. Sorry. Sorry. Can maintain the page first in case Daniel need to share anything uh, from the Q and A that people ask. Okay, Daniel, you have some boxes that you have to remove. Huh? It's, it's blocking the view. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm looking at yeah. I'm reading the q &A. Uh, Okay, Nama, you, you, you talk about the q &A. Okay, uh, Rizwan, you pick the question. Okay. Please thank everybody. Wow, okay. Looks like uh, this week, no sponsor. <laughs> Work from the sponsor. Lah. Straight to the question. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel so, can see uh, some of the question also, huh, Daniel? I cannot see because Kamal, I, I, if I if I no, sorry, see, sorry. You can, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Uh, Daniel, mm -hmm. Canva loads is a bit laggy. Not an internet or laptop issue. Can share if it, if you encounter this. Is this, is this normal for Canva? Is is Canva heavy? I think that's right. No, uh, Canva is actually usually very light, but uh, in the last week they actually have uh, some. Up, outages uh they've been upgrading i think uh don't worry like it's a billion it's a billion dollar company it won't die so soon or not. Uh, and uh, because they are making my they, they are making quite decent money so i i think it will improve good thing about canva is you don't have to download on your laptop or what i one of the things that i hate like is canva on the phone now because canva on the phone is it's it's good for you to do last minute adjustment but for you to do Good design is, is not so good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, how to use gradient? Gradient. Uh? Somebody is it? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so there is a, there is actually a few things over there. Uh, I think you can look at other elements and also, uh, let's say I want to do, uh, let's say I go back to a square. Uh, okay. Then uh, you can go to adjust and, uh, sorry. There are, there are things you can do within all the different filters that allow you to do either gradients or. So it's dual tone, right? Yeah, it, tone. it, it okay, also is also something you can also search for. Let's say square gradient. So you basically cannot create your own gradient, right? You can. You can adjust it, lah. You. So the downside about Canva is basically is the adjustment. Yeah. Uh, so like you see for here, this particular circle. Okay, I I can only do the thing is like I can only adjust the color. Ah, uh, so I can change. Actually, there is la. It's just that you do not create the line of gradient. Yeah, you have to take piece like that. There, I see the circle one. Yeah, let's so, do the blob. Yeah, so let's say I want to do some design now. Okay, I want to do this like a 
like a mulut like that kan okay lah then this one look like a this one look like a mulut to me uh, okay then what I'll do is I'll just do this I'll just white white and white so it looks like this huh? so you all of a sudden you design uh, what you do is you group it then this is one image video Mm -hmm. So guys, remember, this is not AI, this is not Photoshop, this is a simpler version of both. It makes your life easy for people who don't want to learn AI and Photoshop. You, you just be a bit more uh, creative about it. Uh. Like, I want to make a try. I want to put a triangle here. So it's easy, uh. I just like make it white, make it white, then all of a sudden I, I think I want the triangle to, to be or so on or, then, or, or whatever lah. then then this is my new logo oh. <laughs> yeah like like you, you you need to add elements together in different layer and mask it to actually create the intention effect that you want okay okay uh daniel i'm thinking of buying some canva canva template from some designer mm -hmm. uh are you familiar with exclusive templates that I can access only? Does uh, it work uh, the same as normal template? I think there are people that actually sell uh, templates. They do a uh, business uh, creating templates and sell. Uh, that one is between you and your designer, depending on the rights given if they don't sell to other people. So uh, that's something that you need to make sure that they uh, make sure that uh, you have the, you check the the purchasing right for it basically okay give me one uh, or three three top features on canva pro that you you feel the most useful resize transparent resize transparency and then uh, i think two is enough la. the transparency transparency is such a such a, a amazing thing let's say for example uh this uh this is rachel uh so the other day rachel was presenting about how to buy on alibaba and stuff i just want to do a background removal like you usually have to ask a designer to do this they automatically do this for you mm. then wow. then the other thing you can do is when you download it you can download as a trans you can you when you switch to png you can download as a transparent image mm. Like that, that, that save you a lot of time. And then the other thing is like basically, you, if you look at uh, photos, some of it are pro ones or videos or whatever. The you on Canva Pro, you you can just buy it and and so on. So it's actually very good. I think there's a uh, I I'm not sure I can share with Kara that I think that is a trial, uh, for maybe fourteen days or so on for Canva Pro. Uh, or 30 days i have to check uh also maybe can check you can do a discount for the entrepreneur group or, or i'm back but i'll, I'll have to check with that check okay. yeah mm. check mm. daniel you want to talk about the special program uh that canva offers i think there's one for teachers and students ah, right? yes. k-12 and also ngo so so uh if you are NGO or so on, there is actually Canva for education and you can apply for it. Uh, usually it's actually, uh, so just search for Canva. Like Canva Guys, this is not for university student. Eh? It's for K-12 student. Teacher, teacher, school teacher. So you can, you can, uh, you. For your kids, yeah. yes. Uh, but you can also like look for, like, so when you look at the plan, Okay, there are the free plan and that there's also non-profit education and so on. So uh, I I usually will just go with the either pro plan. The enterprise plan actually is a bit more uh, I mean it's not a it's really not a lot la. I mean like it's 200 bucks per year. Uh, if you if you can because you're if you're paying for like who suite, if you're paying for uh like adobe you're paying more than 200 bucks per year already only. I, I don't get commission from this so what do you mean by up to five people meaning one account so one account you can, you can have can a use for your team staff. of five people so you can collaborate with uh 
meaning these five people have access to all your folders, uh, all your brand kit and so on. So this is like your internal team and, and so on. Yeah. Non-profits, don't pay. Cover is free for non-profit, provided yeah, you are the boss. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so there is definitely a Canva for non-profit. Uh, and if you are a programmer student, I think you, there's a, uh, I, I cannot remember. Uh, uh, it's free for school only. Got it. On, uh, what is that called? Uh, GitHub. So if you are, uh, if you are, if you are a programming student and you are on GitHub, Canva will give you one year free. Yeah, but these are programmers, uh. so you need to sign up with GitHub and then uh, do that. I will share this in the chat so you guys can actually have a look. Please do not abuse it. <laughs> uh, okay, next question. Okay, uh, what what font is appropriate for formal events? Sorry, I don't... how many font we can use? in one design oh this is a design question it depends on your it depends on your uh corporate identity I, yeah I, I think the next question will be is there a restriction in any design in Canva for numbers of fonts that we can no, use it won't go no that also oh, so uh if you so when you go to uh, i i didn't show this because it's very basic uh so when you add this so many things like unlimited and like, you can upload add, fonts as well yes. you can upload fonts into canva itself so wow. so you can get like a special designer to do stuff uh, let's you say, can get free font one oh, oh, one font yeah and you can put so it let's here say i want to do uh i'm like a font uh, what is it uh? i'm like we have uh century gothic it's not inside there. But you can search for it. Lah. Like search for the we can, the we one can one channel. New no, one we, Gotham. Gotham. We can upload um uh fonts inside, but uh when yeah. you pay for pro. So you can also like, if you don't have you search for something like uh, uh like you search for something uh, so like let's say for example uh for TEDx KL, okay? Uh Terex, our official font is Helvetica, but we cannot, we need to use like Helvetica. Oh, okay. Yeah. Helvetica don't have, you have to use something yeah. just generic, like, like yeah. yeah. But the, the good thing is that you can actually upload the font. Uh, for... So there are the, uh, there are the you can. The fix. Yeah, so you there's a the lot font. of. Uh, Font provider out there that, that gives font for free. We have to wrap up. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, Too bad. The question. Okay, okay. Quickly, quick, quick, quick. Uh, okay. okay. Canva Pro at Shopee and Lazada. Boleh pakai? Of course. You just download the image. Just upload. No, 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 no. no the that's not Canva right. Pro offering in Shopee and Lazada. Oh, no, no. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never try before. We don't encourage. I never tried before, yeah. but I, I don't think so. Like, uh, uh, you, you can buy and test out, but you also got the trial for free. So it's 200 bucks per year only, ma. So uh, I, I think I think it's always good to support uh, different startups. Uh, so uh, if we can. Okay. Will animation take yes. longer to download? Of course. Yeah, it takes a while. Uh, animation is a bit longer. Uh, and sometimes, yeah. sometimes it's uh, depending how long your video is. Also. In what format? Uh, you can do MP4. Uh, you can actually do quite a number of format. The the cool thing about Canva is actually supports quite a number of uh, various format. So, uh, Daniel, want to have second session with you? Apa macam? A lot of sessions. They 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 are literally asking questions about how can you do this? How can you do that? Uh, how to do this? Uh, <laughs> is asking second session. I think uh, there's a lot more to learn, can Daniel? Uh, there's actually a lot more. Uh, yes. But the, the 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 thing is, is very simple, but you can uh, use simple method to do very interesting stuff. Yeah. Daniel, mm -hmm. where can we get support for Canva? <laughs> for Canva, uh, Canva has a. Is there okay. a group that actually shares so all these? So the thing, tips. there's Canva design thing but there's also Canva University uh, 
uh, hold on. So he searched for Canva University, which is actually, uh, oh yeah, design school at Canva. So a lot of things that will be taught in there, uh, that, there it, you go. It depends on what you, it depends on what you want to achieve. Like, uh, like I'm sure the things that I, I share about is the things that I do on a regular basis uh, for uh, my work, my community, and also uh, even even like I said, when we have a uh, because I'm no longer with my old company, uh, but my company have a whole bunch of designer. Uh, we still use Canva because it's a lot faster to convey the idea across quickly. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Uh, is there diff uh, is that is the template different between pro and education and uh, NGO? Uh, no, the templates are mostly all the same, except for there are difference in pro certain things that are accessible in pro say for example you see the uh so all free right okay let me, let me find uh let me find the template that uh you can you, you can see also these are all free then you can see here these are pro so there are certain restricted ones. so even if you don't have the pro account i think what you can do is that you can pay, pay like one usd to accept to to get it yeah you can use it first you know oh Another good thing, uh, uh, which I think is technically a cheat, lah. You can uh, open this. Uh, let me try to let me try to see whether can you cheat this or not. Okay, so you open this thing. I like this element. I just copy this element and paste on my thing. Oh. I don't have to use the main one. Why you don't? Uh, why are you not allowing me to copy the lock? I'm oh, sorry, I think it's slow. But I think you can just copy the, you can generally just copy the element and uh, uh, once it's unlocked or something like that. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay, no, right? Yeah, I think can. Uh, let me try again. I haven't done it for a long time, really. Because I've been using a pro account, so I, I don't, don't really know that. I think it's okay, Daniel. Let's not share the one yang a bit shady. Eh? <laughs> I mean, it's not shady. It's just bo borrowing elements. <laughs> good one, good one. One good one. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, does MDA sponsor for Canva Pro subscription? No. <laughs> this is for this is for learning purposes for you to learn about Canva. You can enjoy a lot of things under the free. So, but once you get the kick out of Canva, you're sure to try the Pro. That's what happened to Kerala. She started with the free one, then suddenly right. addicted to the Pro. All right. I want to say you can do a lot with the free one. Like you can really do a lot with the free one. Yeah. So yeah, like you don't have to constantly use the pro because I I think uh, okay free one. Can... All right, this is a good one. Uh, can you des can you design a website layout oh, using Cover Pro to that extent? Yes. The whole yeah, can website it. can can. Of course, man. There you go. Even a website, you can actually design the uh, whole website. Let me let me clarify. You are designing the website, but you're not designing the, the design. You're not designing the uh. You're not designing the 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 HTML or anything. Ah, uh, you have to take this photo and paste it on HTML. Basically, it's a drag and that you can actually use. What is the most preferred drag and drop now, Kerala? I think uh, as yeah. a byte, right? I mean, yeah. to support local. Support local. You can do some stuff, uh, actually, which is uh, quite powerful. I think you can do, like, you download certain things in HTML. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I uh, one of the cool things about Canva now also is because you can import stuff. Uh, let's say you import, uh, where is it? Uh? Um, you can import, like, uh, PDF over on Canva. So it allows you to do quite a number of of things over there daniel the shortcut that you shared just now yes. can you share yeah, with us will share. he will share the slides he will share the slides yeah 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 it, but so, that shortcut is for mac right uh, no no got, got, with windows so oh, okay, okay. flash there uh, so but, so but J daniel is a mac user so he only see the mac function <laughs> he said that there's also the window function so Okay, we cannot go for any more questions. Yeah, no thank more. you so much, Alamak. everybody. There's a lot of questions. Sorry, questions. Daniel, this is a very hot 
hot session because it's upskilling themselves. Wow. So if you want to go for second session again, let me publish first the first uh, for this first session into 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 YouTube to share to them. Then we'll plan again for the next session uh, later. Uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, okay. Guys, uh, do me a favor. If you like this kind of session rather than the usual session, give a thumbs up at Carol's uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube page so we know, and you can put in the comment. Uh, what topic that you want? Uh, what you want next? That may, maybe we can try, because Carol knows a lot of people. We can get one, sure. Daniel, time Daniel, only, time. Time but only, yeah. Daniel, they, some of them asked. Uh, they wanted to do WordPress blogging, so I told Rizwan we will ask Liu CF to come to showcase like this as well. Yeah, uh, Liu, Liu can. Liu is probably one of the better guys to do. Correct. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey guys, by the way. Do like Daniel's uh, Facebook page. Uh, Daniel, I'll... you have your next up Asia too, right? Next up Asia. Yeah. Also, you follow the QR code. Uh, that is our. Yeah. That is our I joined movie. that group for I think uh, three months already because uh, Carol did mention that in the last last meeting that we had, Daniel. Huh? So when I joined it, I was blown away with the kind of information that is inside that group because they asked the right question. Uh, uh, the group also gives good informative so it's good for you when you're a startup you're in you need uh you need guidance you can go there there's actually a lot of things that you know maybe it's good uh, so go to then show me your yeah next up asia you can search in facebook you, a, your, you see on the chat i sent a bitly uh oh it's only to panelists sorry i need to send to the uh, remove the box uh, Daniel. Yeah, sorry, I have to send it. I, uh, why, why? I'm surprised by the information because the title uh, is actually quite general. Entrepreneur and Startup in Malaysia. But the information, the announcement is so on. Yeah. It's so good, Thank actually. It's so Thank good. Thank you. I'm surprised. Thank you very much. Uh, let, me share, yeah. let me share with you the Bitly link, everyone, because uh, uh, we... Like it's been growing quite a fair bit. So... I think I think we shared a few times already. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, we shared a bitly. Uh, we shared the Facebook page. Okay, <laughs> thank you again, everybody. Okay, thank guys. you, Rizwan. Oh. See, can show me how to do this. Can show me how to do this. I'm sorry, guys. We don't have time for it. I'm very very sorry. But uh, actually, Daniel has shared his contact detail there. Contact him. Yeah. Uh, anything? Just uh. You can ask in you can ask in the group uh, or just drop me an email. Uh, I'll, if I can help, I can help. I'll be glad to do another session. But also, if there's something more specific in terms of that, uh, then uh, we can try to do okay. something more. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Wow. Hello, thanks, I'm blown away. Thank you, Daniel. And Best thank you, everybody. Best session ever until the end. Hundred. This is the last. This is. The last of oh, this, uh, before I go and uh, speakers, let's see who is 12, who is 13. Yeah. So Daniel is our last one in line, number 11. Uh, so this was a very good session uh, given. Uh, it was it was uh, pointed out by one of our Go e-commerce users, asked us to bring yeah. in some Canva tips. So our Rizwan was so interested in this. He has just developed in We have been Canva waiting for two weeks. We have been yeah. eagerly waiting for today for two weeks. And guys, uh again uh I, I pledge to you if you like this kind of sessions go to our youtube channel under the name of carol form go there put a thumbs up put in the comment what are the what are other knowledge that you want to know we can actually uh do a pocket talk on that but maybe uh in a yeah. month's time right carol we're not doing any any uh, we we might do one we, we might do one having... for WordPress. We see how first the timing. We need two weeks to yeah. to to promote. Let's 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 go and find all uh, these uh, uh talented uh presenters yeah. just like how Daniel is. We want to find that interesting uh, speaker. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not talented. I just just uh, can I, I I mean just share what I know lah. Yeah, correct. Which is which is good. Uh, we enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah we enjoyed it. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, Thank you, session, yeah, Daniel. Friday. Thank you guys. Happy Friday. I'm going to stop recording. See you in the next series. Let us plan. Um, let us plan for the next uh, session. And we hope that you, you you enjoy this. Definitely, I can see the, the amount of enthusiasm and uh, 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 
active active participation from all of you happy friday selamat hari merdeka happy independence day to everybody anak-anak malaysia yes thank you bye see you bye thank you daniel thank Thanks you daniel oh wow there's so much to learn oh my god daniel this is not enough for 90 minutes no it's not enough it's not enough i i'm I, I was like cutting short already, you know, I was like... Yeah, so PDF I'm, your slides, PDF your slides, and then uh, once you can share it to me, I will say thank you to them only on Monday, because by the time wow. I go home now late, I don't yeah, want to see the slides, we actually exceeded by half an hour. Oh. Correct. You're the first one session, exceeded 90 oh, so minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, this is actually not enough. <laughs> Later we'll find you for another session. So many session. people take care. Thank, thank you. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm glad it's uh, beneficial. Because I, 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 I thought it might be very basic, so I scared that people find no. it too basic. Yeah. No, it was... Will uh, there be a replay? <laughs> Half a day session, see? <laughs> Some of them are using Pro, just like me, I'm using Pro, but you have used it since they started in 2013 and 14. I only started using Pro this year when I share with Christian, mm. but I've been using the free version last year. And now with the Pro, I am so happy that I can use so many uh, 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 stocks stock inside uh, Canva. So that was very, very good. Yeah. But can I just always show me the Pro function? Uh, yeah. You got access to my pro pro account lah. This uh, this one. La. <laughs> and this backdrop is actually the Canva Pro I'll show photo. My, I'll show you my. Let me show you my backdrop. Can can show. I have a five 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 p.m. appointment already. That's why I'm packing hey, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really it. Thanks, Eileen. Thank you, Kyo, Quinces, Fazrin, Karen. No, oh Arifa. Oh. <laughs> Because no, yeah, uh, the my I, my next up Asia one we had a uh, we had a video we had a video uh, just a video background of KL and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can do moving, you know, in Zoom. <laughs> Zoom you can put moving backdrop. Someone our friend uh, today asked, hey, can do this one? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So funny. Okay, I have to go too. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Thank man. you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Yeah. Be that when we can jumpa in person. And I'm jumpa somebody in person already at 5 p.m. Okay, I need to jumpa my makan because I'm very hungry. Bye, Daniel. Thank you. Bye, Daniel. It's a wrap.